Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Coda Shop Top Up Coda Shop Top Up Spoon. Okay, I did that last part because it's Diablo, right? They just launched their mobile version not too long ago for Southeast Asia. This is one of the first times we're getting an amazing MMORPG for your phone that you can just play and go wherever you go. Disclaimer, I personally have never played Diablo. What? Okay, I know I'm probably gonna get a few haters, but I'm probably gonna have the least bias and hater comments because my expectations aren't as high as the original Diablo. Let's just jump straight into it. First things first, when we jump into it, we're gonna choose our class. So there's like Barbarian, Wizard, Demon Hunter, Monk, Crusader, and lastly, Necromancer. I've had Demon Hunter and Wizard is probably like the most common one. I think Monk is super cool, but I have a feeling he's like, like a tank healer, slight support. So I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna try, I feel like a very little people are gonna pick this, so I'm gonna pick Necromancer, okay? All right, next we have, of course, making yourself look super cool. I don't know why my guy looks slightly like Johnny Depp. Maybe just me. This is the part where you customize your face to get your disapproval from your mother. Cool, nice, blue eyes some tats, let's go. So yeah, I've, I've basically played through a little bit throughout the days. Um, for a mobile version, I feel like the graphics are amazing. Playing is super easy, it's like, they adapted the controls similar to how you play your MOBAs, for example, so you've got most of the controls there on the bottom right. Immediately as you sign up, you'll get a free skin, so don't forget to activate it from your inbox and you'll have it immediately. Uh, you collect it from your mail and you've got this original Horadric Legacy skin. So immediately you look kind of cool already. So there's much more skins that are to come that you can buy from the store, for, from the shop for example. So starting out, you kind of just follow the main storyline and level up your character, gain experience, figure out what kind of skill sets you want to build into. Eventually the quests get harder, you can join clans, you can even invite your friends to your party to do the same quest so that you guys get even more experience. For, for a mobile game, this is like super impressive. Like how smooth everything is as well. So this is part of the main storyline, this is what's going on. And we got her, easy. Ooh, battle pass unlocked. So I can actually upgrade this battle pass if I want. So the battle pass is quite useful. Uh, it's super important too, because there are certain items that you can only get from the battle pass. I don't see it right now. Oh, it's this one, Fervent Fang. This you can only get from a battle pass. So yeah, you can get an empowered battle pass, which gains access to all empowered track rewards until the end or you could get a collector's empowered battle pass. I think, I think let's, let's, let's try this. This is money. They've got platinum, which is used at the market and specialty vendors, so probably in-game. And then you've got eternal orbs, which are used to purchase cosmetics, eternal legendary crests, reforged stones, platinum, and more. So eternal orbs is the main thing that we need. To enter, a, I think you would enter a dungeon and then you would fight, and then you have a treasure chest at the end. Yeah, there we go. Diablo Immortal is already on the main page of Shop. All you have to do is sign in with Battle.net. Oh, that's it. Okay, I'm in Battle.net. Let's just top up the maximum amount of gems. So yeah, topping up is super simple. All you gotta do is just sign into your Battle.net, which is connected on Shop. Choose whichever method you wanna pay with, and then that's it. That's how fast it is. There we go. 1,600 crests. Unfortunately, the battle pass you can't seem to buy with the top ups. It has to be direct amount of money. Yeah, but if you're looking to rank up, you can directly unlock with, with your gems. Okay, so there are three different battle passes. There's a free one, an empowered one, and a collector's empowered battle pass. So obviously with different tiers, you get different kinds of rewards. For the collector's empowered one, you get, for example, 14 rank ups immediately on your battle pass. And on top of that, you get additional rewards to the other battle passes. Let me try to rank up to 10. One, two, three. So unlock. So immediately I get this legendary weapon. And no, it's not a game where you need to spend $10,000 to get a legendary item. There are much better uses for your money, okay? Like skins or battle chests or just enjoying the story, plot, and dungeons. Rank 10 reward, there we go. Offhand, ooh, what is this? Yo, there, there's a lot to choose from. Ooh, so with legendary weapons, you actually gain an ability from it. I quite like this one. Skeletal Mage now summons a powerful Green Reaper. That looks deadly, so let, let's just do that. Yo. This is cool. I also think that I should receive this. So these are own, the, that is disgusting. 
What is that? That's like roses made out of veins, yo. So these are also special gems that help your, that help your character. So, ooh, this is just scary looking. Look at that. Standard comes with the skin. If you do the collector's edition, you would have a special kind of like warping portal as well. Yo, I'm dealing so much damage. I, I don't think it's supposed to be this easy. A little bit too much damage, yeah? I would imagine that it's good to actually spend a bit at the start just so that you can speed run through the early parts of the game. I've got that bloody scythe right now, so that's disgusting. But yeah, I'm, I feel like I'm dealing way too much damage. Almost there, take her down. We got him, nice. To the throne room. Almost got him. Slice, bone crushing thing. He's not really doing much, I'm not gonna lie. Slice of life. Probably not, not the best names. Bone crusher, also not the real name. Skeleton dash, level 20, let's go. Okay, so Elder Rifts are your item drop dungeons. You can also add crests before you enter the dungeons to increase the rewards that, to increase the rewards you get. Now, I can't guarantee you'll get a legendary item, but one thing's for sure, you'll definitely have yourself a legendary gem. I'm gonna add seven, okay? I'm just gonna put in everything. Basically, all the crests, okay? We're gonna see what happens here with one of them. So I gotta repeatedly go through these legendary rifts. Yo, it looks pretty tough, actually. We're not stopping, we are massacring these people. Oh, 70, okay, thank God, someone someone refreshed it. Good job. 88, only 88, we had to stop somehow. If you have teammates, your kills stack together, so you're gonna earn um, much more experience, definitely. Wait, where's the Rift Guardian? There he is. 90k hit points, let's go. I use my alt as well. Just really destroy this guy. We got it. What do we get, what do we get? Yo, if we get if we get a legendary item on the first try, and obviously it's rigged, right? So, not a legendary. Okay, so the rarity goes as such: common, magical, which is the blue ones. Then you got rare gear, which are the yellow ones, and then ultimately you got the legendary ones, which are these uh, kind of like orange, but they call them gold. Rare is not bad. I'll take I'll take a rare one any day. We got another rare item. Yo, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying. Oh my god, I died! How did I die? I totally didn't realize that. First ever death. Lol. Okay, but of course, the whole point of the game isn't just to try to get a legendary item. There's lots and lots more to figure out, from gems to skills, the main story of the campaign, stuff like clearing bounty quests, battling huge bosses in Heli Quarry, fighting in PvP fights in the Cycle of Strife, there's so much more to go, so yeah, have fun with it all. Yeah, there we go. So I hope you guys got a little bit of insight into the game. And if you're gonna top up, just go ahead and top up with Photoshop. It is as smooth as butter. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Go check out Diablo Immortal. It's a very easy to play and free to play MMORPG. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.